Hi everyone, in this video, I will discuss how to configure Digital Workplace Catalog Virtual Marketplace Entitlements. Specifically, I will cover the following topics. First, I will provide a quick overview about TWP Catalog Virtual Marketplace Entitlements. Then I will do a demo on how to configure Virtual Marketplace Entitlements using local entitlements that has the option to enable full catalog view as well as adding individual users to the Virtual Marketplace. I will also do a demo on how to configure virtual marketplace entitlements using dynamic filters from ITSM CTM People Form. We will look at how selecting attributes within a single or multiple categories impact the user entitlements in the virtual marketplace. So here's a quick guide to the virtual marketplace. What is a virtual marketplace? Virtual Marketplace are entitlement rules specifically used in Digital Workplace Catalog to entitle end users to published services, bundles, and banners. In Digital Workplace Catalog, you use virtual marketplaces to associate end users to services, bundles, and banners. Who can create virtual marketplace entitlements? The following roles can do so. Catalog Administrators, Asset Manager, or internal supplier roles can create virtual marketplaces. Then finally, a commonly asked question is when importing SRM service requests into Catalog, are user entitlements copied? The answer is no. External entitlements are not copied into Digital Workplace Catalog when the service is imported. Entitlement rules must be created separately in DWP Catalog. Next, I will go ahead and do a demo on the topics I mentioned earlier. In this first demo, we will look at how to configure the virtual marketplace using local entitlements in the catalog database, which will allow us to enable full catalog view, restrict some services, and also add specific users to a virtual marketplace. Local entitlements are entitlements that are evaluated locally within the virtual marketplace. These are users that are currently in the DWP catalog database that were added there via the user sync script. Okay, so here I am logged in as a DWP catalog administrator. To access virtual marketplace, click on services, then entitlements. From this main page, you can see this toggle for the option enable full catalog view. When you enable this toggle, all published services will be available to all users in the DWP catalog. It will override and ignore all other previously created virtual marketplace entitlements. So in this case, it will ignore all of the entitlements that are set up for Calbro, Manager Services, and Vitramco, and it will enable all the services that are currently published to be available from the DWP catalog page. So just be careful when you're enabling this full catalog view and ensure that is what is needed um, at that time. So let's take a look at what happens when this app option is enabled. First, I will log in to DWP as this end user named Gary Manager. Okay, so I will now log in to DWP as Gary Manager. So these are currently the services that the user is entitled to before the enabled full catalog view is on, is turned on on Digital Workplace Catalog. Now I will go ahead and enable full catalog view. So what this means now is that all these virtual marketplaces will now be overridden by these settings. And the users will now see all the published services that are currently in the Digital Workplace Catalog. Currently, when we look at the published services, we have 37 published services. So when you turn on um, enabled full catalog view, that means that all that 37 published services will be available to end users of DWP catalog from DWP. So I will go ahead and refresh this page. So yes, so now I can see all the services available to me. And here, this is just a, a list here of all the services. We can see there are 37 that are available. 
When you have Enable Full Catalog View turned on in Digital Workplace Catalog, you can use the Restricted Services feature to restrict a few services from appearing in the DWP catalog of the end users. You can do that by going into the Restrict Services tab and clicking on Add Service. From here, for example, if you choose the Benefits Service and Call Jenkins Service and save that, then these two services will no longer appear to end users in DWP. In this next demo, we will add users to Virtual Marketplace using dynamic filters from ITSM CTMP Perform. To start, let's go ahead and create a new Virtual Marketplace. Let's call it um, the Tramco Cost Centers. And we will go ahead and access ITSM CTM, CTM People Form attributes by clicking on this Add link from the Attributes section. There are two tabs from CTM People, the ITSM Core tab and the Other Fields tab. So this other field show all the fields that are not um, core ITSM fields. For this example, we will look at adding attributes from ITSM core tab. So let's go ahead and expand Petramco and expand organization. So I will add all, under, all organizations under this company to this virtual marketplace. When creating entitlements using ITSM attributes, it's a good idea to select attributes within a single category to add users to, as the OR logic is, to, is used when qualifying the users. So in this example, all users from this category called organization will be able to see um, the services added to this virtual marketplace. So I will go ahead and save this. And next, let's add services to this virtual marketplace. Let's add the top three here. Um, update collaborator, create change request, and report an issue. And I will go ahead and save that. Now let's take a look at the user profile called S Adams. I will open the people record for this user. And we can see that this user is part of Petramco organization and belongs to the sales organization. Therefore, he meets the org qualification for the virtual marketplace, and he should see the services entitled to the virtual marketplace. So let's log in as this user S Adams to verify we can see the services in DWP. All right, so I will log in now as S Adams to DWP. And yes, as per the entitlement, the user can see the three services that we added to the Petramco Cost Center Virtual Marketplace. Now let's see what happens when we add another attribute from a different category to the same virtual, virtual marketplace entitlement. So let's go ahead and open the same virtual marketplace entitlement. And from here, We know that we previously added organizations to this entitlement, so now we will go ahead and add cost centers to it as well. So I will select all of these cost centers. So now what happens when you do this is that it now becomes organization and cost center qualification for the users to be added to this virtual marketplace. So the user must have must meet one of the organization and one of the cost centers um, in their CTM people record in order to be part of this virtual marketplace. So let's go ahead and save that. Now, when we look at as Adam's account and look at his cost center details, we can see that there is no cost center details that's um, added to this user's profile in CTM people form. So because of this, the user is no longer entitled to this virtual marketplace entitlement and will no longer see those services when he logs into DWP. So let's take a quick look and see if that is indeed the case. So let's log in again as S. Adams.
now we can see that the services have been removed from the from the user's digital workplace catalog um, page as he is no longer entitled to the virtual marketplace so now let's go ahead and ask add a cost center details to ask Adam's uh, CPM people record. So we'll select any one of these and save it. And we will go ahead and log in again to DWP as S. Adams. So now I'm going to log back in as, as Adams after updating his CPM people record with a cost center details. Now I can see that the services are back again as I'm now entitled to the virtual marketplace once again. So yeah, so just remember that when selecting attributes across multiple categories, the AND logic is used. But when using a single category, the items in that category, the OR logic is used. So it is easier to manage entitlements in the virtual marketplace if users are entitled to a single category from the CTM people dynamic filters attribute. And that concludes our video on how to configure virtual marketplace entitlements in Digital Workplace Catalog. Please visit the BMC Remedy and Discovery channel to view other support videos. Thank you for watching.